we started off real, started off real well. I feel like when we came on campus, we had a lot, felt like we had a lot to prove. Uh, I know Coach Kibler, hiring Coach Kibler, I'm like the only person that kind of had a familiar with him when he was here as now as a head coach. But I know the condition was real brutal to get into shape into the style we wanted to play. And it kind of translated over to the beginning of the season where we was on like a five, five and one uh, win streak, five, five games win streak. And then we was like six and one for the first seven games. And then after that, I feel like a lot, a lot of our team, we hit a wall kind of, and we haven't tried to counter that yet. Man, it made me feel old. Cause I remember my first day on campus, I remember my first game actually. Uh, I remember the first game I checked in and then to approach the very final game, I check out is kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of fulfillment. I want to say it's not bittersweet, it's more sweet than it's like a fulfillment where you grow up and to be playing college basketball and to actually saying you was a part of something then just high school basketball it still means something to me actually. I, when I was little I always dreamed about playing college basketball and then I got to live my dreams just through working hard. I mean it was real hard because actually I was my second time doing it. So my first time was what, January 2nd, 2009 against Ignatius and I tore my ACL. Didn't know what to didn't know what to do and then just to work hard, I just think about I'm gonna get better, get my knee even more better. And then when it happened again, I was just um, I was at a place where I didn't even want to do anything. And then I remember just when I was got the surgery table, my mother just handed me a Bible and told me to just start reading. And then I found strength just reading by the Bible that I still can do a lot of things and then to come back to perform at a okay level, which is I feel like it was really real hard to do, and I don't think I can get through it by myself. But I was there with my teammates and people I came in with, encouraging me, pushing me through. So, without a doubt, no questions asked. It'll be Super Bowl of last year when we had uh, Ken. Ken game got snowed out in the previous week, so we moved it right after a game and. That was a game I had like 35 points. Uh, I hit my first six threes. And like I, like, I was shocked just watching me doing it, like watching the film and just like going to halftime, look at the scoreboard when you have like 23 in the first half. And then I was just thinking like, man, I could never do that again in my life. So that was kind of a, that was, I mean, we lost that game. So it didn't really settle into like the week after when everybody kept talking about it. And after every game, everybody wanted me to drop 35 points again. I had to keep telling people like that. I'm never doing that again. So I think I mean that was my favorite favorite memory because I'm just not just me. The the crowd was into it. I know my teammates was into it. So it was. I mean we we ended up losing, but it still had I still had heartfelt for that moment just because it I lived it through with a lot of people.